watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you. And, um, and also, let's look ahead to 2018, which is gonna be another powerful year. I feel very, very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening, as we know, are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very, very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels. And if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading, then, you know, just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding. And for you, it might be that you, you've changed at home or you've changed your, changed your job or you've, relationships around you are changing, family circumstances are changing, things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way. And, um, and you're wondering why, why things are changing. And maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers. Maybe things just seem very smooth for you, but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic. Anyway, this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune, so where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook Live as well soon, <laughs> long promised, and I'll leave a link under the video as well. And that's it. I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis. So it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign. So I think that's everything. Have a fantastic year. And if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share. Um, ideas and, and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace. And I'll speak to some of you soon. Bye. Hi, lovely Sagittarians. I hope you're all well. And um, 
Welcome to your 2018 Year Ahead reading and um, congratulations on finally getting Saturn out of your sight. <laughs> so it's been quite an interesting few years for you. I know there have been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of testing times, a lot of um, having your buttons pressed, a lot of having to look at yourself very, very deeply and and figure out what you're all about and some changes and some letting go and some upgrades and a big old education so well done now you've got saturn moving into your second house so the area that you're going to be really really growing up in really maturing in is going to be your personal value your self-esteem trusting yourself, asking for what you're worth and really allowing yourself to receive it. So, you know, you know the last few years, you will have maybe been surprised about um, who you are and who you've become and what you really, really think of yourself. You may actually have realised, come to realise things about yourself that you had no idea these things were impacting your ability or your lack of, your, your inability to manifest the greatness that you feel is within you or to manifest the rewards that you deserve. You might not have understood how you have sometimes been getting in your way and you've realised that now. You've had a huge education and you've noticed how things shift when you really allow them to. So you've, you've transformed dramatically and completely and now that transformation is going to take you into a place where you start to realise that you can apply the same learning process to what the universe is asking you to learn next. Well you can test your value, you can ask for more and see what happens. You can see yourself as being more deserving and put out there the energy that this is what is required for you to do the best job possible. So that's going to be, you've been perfectly prepared for that by figuring out who you are. You can now know what you're worth and that's going to be the learning of the next few years. As far as Jupiter is concerned, you've had Jupiter in your 11th house. So your community, your sense of community has been expanding much more. Your sense of where you belong in the community, your sense of what it is that you're able to contribute to the world even. Um, you know, in terms of philanthropy or in terms of community projects and connecting with people, like-minded people, with groups, things like that. You might have found that that has, has expanded to such an extent that now that Jupiter's going into your 12th house, you need to just go inside, um, look deep within and make decisions about exactly what sort of um, contribution you want to be making in the next few years. So you might have become, you might have achieved a great deal of clarity about your place in the community, but it's your place within yourself and within the wider world that you need clarity on, that you need to really prepare something maybe. Maybe you've, you've learnt what you need to put out there and it's a creation that you're going to have to work on. You're going to have to sort of say, okay, this has been really great. I've had a really great year and uh, connecting with people, but now I need to go back and work on this particular process or this particular body of work or this particular thing and I need to edit and I need to organise it and I need to uh, structure it and then I can uh, so that I can put that out into the world and then I'll be available again but it's going to be a process that's going to require a lot of discipline but thankfully you've got Saturn bringing discipline to your house of self-value so if it takes self-value for you to say okay batten down the hatches this is what I need to focus on this is what I need to do and this is how I'm going to do it you will have the courage to do that and you will have the discipline to stay focused on your goals over the next year or so and to um, and to create and prepare something behind the scenes that will bring you a lot of success and expansion in the come in the year after that so 2018 is going to be a year of consolidating everything that you've learned and preparing your great work for the future okay so 
Yeah, let's just have a look at what the cards say. So I'm going to look at past, present and future for you, Sag. And I'm being drawn to using the angel cards. And then I'm going to look at a colour overview for you, is what I'm hearing. So past, present, future. And I'm going to look at the main colour theme for you in 2018, the main energy for you in 2018. Okay, nurture yourself. So you've, you've been through quite a lot, you've been through a lot of changes, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of having to stay focused, finally learning how to manifest, and it took a lot to get you there, um, and now it's time for you to take deep care of yourself. And we've got orange, which is the sacral chakra, which is the chakra of creation, creativity, and manifesting. So it's just reaffirming that for you as well, that you can manifest now, you do know how to do it, but you also know that you need to nurture yourself in order to make it happen. And you need to do the work. Okay, so past. So you've been doing a lot of clearing out, a lot of clearing of space, clearing things, situations, um, energies, connections from your life that were just either draining your energy or bringing you back to the past or filling you with regret and making you feel lost and unfocused. So clearing, 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 Archangel Michael's saying to me, clearing, clearing, clearing. There's been a lot of clearing for some of you, Sages. And as you've been clearing, I see your mind becoming clearer. It's like they're clearing this fog away from your mind. And so even if you don't actually have everything you want just yet, you're really clear about what it is now. And you're really clear that the past doesn't need to interfere with or dictate to you what happens in the present, which is wonderful. What a gift, what a great platform to be reaching into 2018 with. So let's look through further into the year. Where you are uh, now um, in the present is, again, with nurturing, you need to be gentle with yourself. And that's going to be a theme throughout the year. And you're feeling that energy now that it's like, OK, I've still got a lot I need to do, but I need to do it in a way that's, that's in harmony with my need to, you know, I've learned I need to take care of myself. I've learned I need to rest when I need to rest. I've learned that I need to be out when I need to be out when I need to go out. I've learned that I need to have, you know, the right kinds of peoples and people and energies around me. And so you need to continue in that way. Okay, surround yourself with gentle people and situations. Keep away from anything that aggravates you. Okay, and not too much partying. Okay, <laughs> divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying see underlying order. So this is going to be another big theme for you, that you will not always be able to see straight away where things are coming together for you. You won't always be able to see that things are even progressing, but things are bubbling up gently under the surface in a really nice way, in a very slow and consistent and steady way that will suddenly mushroom at some point throughout the year and show you that you've been on the right path all along and that it's absolutely okay. It's okay for things to go a little bit slowly sometimes, okay? So I'm going to do um, a card for you for the beginning, middle and end of the year. I'm going to do that with the um, Psychic Tarot by John Holland and just see if there's anything else. What else does Sag need to know? What do the Sages need to know about their year ahead? Love blossoms, I hear. Love blossoms. That's lovely. So that's whether you're in an existing bond, whether you're in a new bond, whether you're single and hoping to meet someone, or whether you're on your own and just wanting to love yourself. Love blossoms is what I heard. So what have we got? Beginning, middle, end. Wonderful. Okay, great. So you've got... And this is all in this context of nurturing yourself, being gentle with yourself, clearing your space, having made way for this beautiful divine order that's guiding your path perfectly and beautifully and very powerfully. So you'll come into the year feeling this empowerment, feeling ready, 
feeling like you're ready to capitalize on a new opportunity or venture or or to just be in your zone in your space in your you know right that's that's been a good year for community as i said and now i'm going inside and this lion i love this that that heart of a lion there's a sense of you feeling empowered and feeling a rightness about your your vision and your mission and your journey at this time and something that you're working on and um and so that's a great way to start the year and as the year progressive you progresses you have a progressive sense of destiny it builds it gets stronger and stronger as you begin to receive more more benefit from what you're doing more um the feedback you know it's it, there's a building sense of destiny and this gold this just looks it looks as if it's sort of this gold in her, in her heart it's like this fire in your heart just kind of really lighting up and moving you forward towards the end of the year you're going to be moving very much towards relying on your intuition very strongly to make new decisions about the year after but there's no need to even think about that just yet because you are being guided absolutely perfectly and everything is working in divine order okay so Sag that's just a perfect message. I can't think of anything better for you. I'm just being told to pull one more card from the colour cards from the top. Establish boundaries. Okay, that's perfect. Because we did say that you were going to have to be disciplined and go underground a little bit to work on something that you're doing behind the scenes. Um, establish boundaries now at the beginning of the year even the end of 2017, establish boundaries now so that it's really clear. And you can lovingly establish boundaries. It doesn't have to be a big, you don't have to proclaim anything or, you know, whatever. But just establish boundaries. That could mean establishing a work routine or a structure or a program for getting things done at timetable. If you're a teacher, whatever, you know, structuring things differently and getting it down on paper where you can see it and have it as a plan and, and hopefully stick to it each day because that will free up more time for you so that you can get everything done more easily rather than sort of standing around you know spinning literally going around in circles thinking where am I going to start what do I do first I don't know what to do first I don't know what to do next have it planned out so you know seven till eight this eight till nine this nine till ten this Create boundaries, create structures. I know you're not one who loves that, but it will help you. Have a fantastic year, um, Sag. It's going to be a really, really great, exciting 2018 for all of us, I think. And um, not without its lessons, not without its challenges, but you are more equipped than ever before to to face those and you are full of this empowerment of knowing that you are on your path and fired up with your destiny, with your vision. And um have a great year, have a great time fulfilling that destiny. Let me know if you want to have a private reading. I'm doing my private year year ahead one-to-one uh, -one readings now. The link's below the video and um, if you've got one of those, I can give you a reading that's more specific to you and your situation, reading your energy, talking to your guides and mine and just helping you to, you know, figure out what some of these moves are, what some of these energies are, what some of the phases are going to be, and any questions, to answer any questions that you might have. Remember, all of this is just a guide, and in the end, you are the person who has control over your destiny, and you are the one who's going to make this happen or not happen. All right, so all the best of luck. Take care till we speak again. Bye.